Hello all, my name is Krosh Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, I'm going to review two resumes. And I found this resume is quite interesting. So one resume is of a fresher, which is pretty much good. So this resume can be a perfect example for all the freshers. And uh, the other resume is of an experienced person who is from MBA background. Okay. So the first person that I'm actually going to see is Divya Garmidi. And then second one is Mohammed Junaid Khan. Okay, so I'm going to review these two resumes and uh, I've got more than 500 resumes to review guys and I probably take out more and more time and provide you a detailed review, uh, review regarding your resumes itself. So today, two resumes. So let's go ahead and start the discussion. So Divya, Gar uh, Divya Garmidi, so she, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. She's just completed her B.Tech in 2021 with CGP 8.14. Um, and the type of projects that I see with respect to data science is pretty much amazing. First of all, let's go back to the skills. In the skills, you can actually see uh, she's written C, Python, VHDL, Java, machine learning, SQL, statistics, and data visualization. So since C is from electronics and communication background, the types of skill sets that she has, she has actually written is pretty much amazing. I think she'll also be uh, doing embedding programming and probably will be able to see that in the projects also. So that is the reason why C is actually present over there. So over here, you can see her intermediate work experience. Let's let's first of all go back to the projects. What kind of projects she has actually done in the uh, college time probably. So here are YouTube ad view predictions. So yes, it is just to build a machine learning regression on predicting YouTube ad view count. Perfect. Facebook data utilization, advanced military and spying and bomb disposal robot. So based on her, <clears throat> the type of uh, education she has done, like she's completed her engineering in electronics and communication. This looks like an amazing project. Advanced, advanced military spying and bomb disposal robot. So here you can see that it is a friendly, uh, user friendly and real time project. The system is very beneficial in areas where there is a high risk for human to enter. So why I find this particular project very much good because it is with respect to her domain. So this is the major thing guys, even though you are coming from mechanical background, civil background, you know, always try to mention some of the projects that are related to data science that are related to your domain. It should be really be interrelatable, you know, so then, you know, when the recruiter will actually see this particular resume, obviously he'll get impressed because this entire resume is based on your entire profile, right? So this is pretty much amazing. I like this particular project and probably in this you'll also be able to, she will be able to explain very much nicely when probably she, when she's going to go for the interview because she also has electronics and communication technology engineering degree, right? The second one, uh, the third, fourth project that I see over here is also pretty much good. That is computer controlled robot, right? So here also, this is also again related to embedding programming and probably how she has applied something related to AI, she'll be able to explain. So I love this two final projects that is advanced military spying and computer control robot. So definitely she can actually go to those company, those core company where uh, AI is getting used with respect to robots and all. So definitely amazing projects altogether. Before I go ahead with respect to this particular video, this video has been sponsored by ReLevel. If you are someone who has not heard about ReLevel, here are a few benefits to participate in the ReLevel test. Over 50 plus companies, including top startups and unicorns like Ernst & Young, Cred, Upgrad, Razorpay, Urban Company, and many more are hiring through ReLevel. Thousand plus job openings across business development, front-end development, and back-end developments are also available. The entire tests are completely online and can be taken from the comfort of your home. The best part is that you can take this test completely for free, finish your test in a single day of your choice and get your re-level score within a week. Also, the candidates will be rewarded with exciting goodies like MacBook, iPhone and many more exciting goodies for the high rank holders in the re-level test of the month. Registration to re-level is very easy. Sign up on the re-level.com, then select the test of your choice. Suppose if you want to go with the backend development test, just select it, register for free, select the tech stack, and then book a slot, select the test date, and then start the recording and submit it. And then confirm your slots. So this is just the process of actually registering for the re -rail. Other than that, this guys, all the entire information will be given in the description of this particular video. So what are you waiting for? Register for re -level test today. What I would suggest you is that, Divya, is that try to 
whenever you're putting machine learning or deep learning projects always make sure that when you want to explain those things to the recruiter also please make sure that you explain completely from end to end like on the top two projects that you have written that should be an end to end project this it should be with respect to the explanation that what you have actually done in this what was your roles and all everything so i definitely liked your uh, in projects that you have actually done so full 100 marks for this kind of projects it is obviously very good so tomorrow if a mechanical engineering comes uh, and probably he wants to move into data science try to look uh, for some kind of projects that are related to manufacturing domain right or mechanical domain anything that it can be right so the next thing over here work experience also she has been a machine learning trainee from this particular company that is metor easy probably for two months then machine learning intern in internship studio so two internship is actually done i think uh, this resume will definitely help us get lot of calls if she is able to apply but make sure divya that uh, whenever you are trying to apply you also do some kind of fine tuning when you are applying for this kind of jobs already you have have done 3 3 internship i'd suggest try to write in your resume 6 plus 6 plus months experience as an intern from so and in the data science to role in the domain of enc anything you can write like that right so that should probably be in your introduction session okay so perfect uh other things it looks good achievement and all it looks good so out of 10 if i really want to give you please make uh, i'll give you somewhere around 7 to 8 again try to make sure that you try to put more information related to your domain and probably tomorrow if i trying to apply for any kind of job see whether it is nlp work then with respect to your domain what all kind of activities you may have done considering nlp technique all those things you really need to provide okay so fine tuning is actually required so divya amazing resume so probably some fine tuning and you are good to go okay now coming to the second one mama junaid khan so here mama junaid uh, if you go and see his education uh, it is from symbiosis international university um so mba is probably completed in 2019 is somewhere around 2 years of experience is actually coming from be background deployed projects you can see some of the projects over here okay divya one thing sorry for divya uh, sh- uh, i could not f- uh, okay so uh, github link and all everything is mentioned uh, over here yes it everything is mentioned now similarly for junaid you can see that deployed project some of the example of the projects are here so if i go and click this let's see it opens or not whether it is in the working one or not if it is w- in the working one then it is well and good okay so here is one streamlit project okay okay compare your train and test data so automated eda fine so this looks good if you have this kind of information definitely the recruiter will be clicking and probably seeing but uh, your resume looks like quite decorative uh, you can see a lot of pictures and all over here okay so many certification please make sure that if you are writing certification please do mean the certification okay if you are not able to answer then it will be a problem for you okay So data science enthusiasts to eager to learn this 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 is the associate analyst from June 20, 2019 September 2020 now okay now junaid i would like to give you one definite suggestion is that when you are working as an analyst when you are from mba background instead of targeting as a data scientist role my suggestion would be that go as a product owner okay product owner role product analyst role because that will definitely match with the mba skill sets i know you are from engineering background you may have too much knowledge with respect to coding and all but understand if you are going as a product owner or analytics manager analytics manager also is also a person who has the knowledge of managing things also and he also has the technical knowledge also so because the type of activities that you have done it matches the analytics kind of analytics manager role so you can see responsible for writing reports plus presentation based on data analyst kpi to influence business strategies and implementation actively responsible for data collection delivered a precision overview of the global and regional so everything that whatever you are written it's pretty much good work but instead over here as writing as data science and ent- ent- enthusiast you can actually go towards analytics manager you can go towards product owner product analyst this will be an amazing role for you since your background is from mba other than that i can see your projects please don't uh, put eda type of projects over here since you are an analyst try to put end to end reporting projects that will be very much good nlp web application again end to end car price prediction i think it is a basic one okay since you are an experienced person always make sure that with respect to your company work 
you really need to put some kind of POCs or modules or AI modules, anything or any kind of work that you have done, you know. So data center dashboard, this looks good and provide more information. See, information is lacking over here. You may have done 100 and 100 of projects, but information is lagging. What, what tools you have used and how you have used, what were the KPIs, point wise, if you mention, it will be really, really good. Other than that, again, as per my suggestion, I would say you that please try to apply for analytics manager or product analyst that will be a better one suited for you. Okay. But even though if you are interested in data scientist, that is not at all bad. You can definitely try, but make sure that when you are writing projects completely end to end the target of the projects, what is the aim of the project? What is the goal? Which cloud did you use? You know, how, how you have integrated with the web application, did you, which framework you use? All those things are actually missing here. You have just written about the skills. That's it. Okay. So this is a suggestion that I really wanted to give you. So yeah, to, uh, two resumes in this particular video guys more resumes will be coming up in one of the video i'll make a long video where i'll be reviewing 10 interesting resumes so i hope you like this particular video please make sure that you subscribe to the channel press the bell notification icon i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you one dog bye